Boys and girls, welcome back to Dolores Mission Library. And today is kind of a fun day because we're going to talk about our new season, fall, autumn, and some special things happen in fall and in autumn. And you know, too, what they are. Most children know and love this holiday we have called Halloween. So we're going to talk a little bit about the pumpkins in Halloween and a little bit about fall. And remember, we've talked about fiction and nonfiction books in many of our talks. We learn things from all books. And so today, we're going to read P is for Pumpkin, God's Harvest Alphabet. We're just going to do the alphabet, the A, B, C, for fall and autumn and for pumpkins. Now, the reason I'm inviting you, look what we have over here. We have a beautiful, beautiful pumpkin and an apple, which is another fall fruit and it grows on trees. And Cub over there is very excited to see what's inside that pumpkin. P is for pumpkin, as I said, God's harvest. Harvest, that's a fall word. When we need to plant things in summer or in spring, and they have to be picked, like our pumpkins, or like our apples, or corn, all those things are harvested and put in barns to save for winter. We don't have to do that here. We don't have, we're not living on a farm right here, but some people do. And when we have winter and the animals need to have food for winter, they store it. You know those squirrels? Oh, in fact, here's one right here. Here's a squirrel right there getting ready for winter. And we have our scarecrows that keep those birds away from eating those apples from the tree. And it's an ABC illustration book. And there's the name of the illustrator and an the name of the author. And P is for pumpkin. Looks a lot like our pumpkin. And there's our entrance to the book and tells us who the book is written for. A lot of times people decide to put a name, like I'm going to write this book for my mom or my grandma, and this book is written to Jake. May every autumn be beautiful. Autumn is beautiful. So here's our first letter. A is for apple. We just talked about our apples. B is for barn. We just talked about a barn. You need a barn to store all the food for winter. C is for corn. We mentioned corn. Corn grows on a stalk, a corn stalk. And some of it drops on the ground and dries out. And when it dries out, they grind it. And how about, have you had a corn tortilla? Because that's what we make the corn tortilla, is made into a flour. So we make our tortillas from corn flour. And here is D for dress up. Now we know what dress up happens is for Halloween. We're going to have a costume. We don't call it dress up, but we call it a costume. And many children have scary cross costumes or fun costumes or beautiful costumes. And then we have E for the earth. Earth is our God's great gift to us. We can plant things in the earth and things grow for us. Our food, and for our animals, and the earth takes care of us. So we need to take care of the earth also. And also the leaves change color. It is so beautiful in fall. G is for gold, and that's our color, the color of gold. And that's because the farms have the golden wheat, and it's a beautiful color for fall. H is for harvest. We already talked about that. That's when we cut down things and put away things and save things for the time we need the 
good food because we don't get much in winter. We have to use the things from fall. I is for Indian corn, and that's the colored corn, and we grind that too. They grind that corn and make a flour to make different things, like Indian fry bread. It's delicious. J is for, oh, you know what J is for, Jack O'Lantern. They call it a lantern because we're giving light. We cut the holes into the pumpkin and we put a flashlight inside and it gives light to all around us and also makes our funny face or sad face or scary face show. K is for kindness and that's the time of Thanksgiving is in the fall or autumn. And at Thanksgiving we share our food with people and we are have relatives come to our house. Maybe not this year, but we always usually do. L is for leaves, all these beautiful leaves that you can find on the ground. Look when you take a walk and see if you see any pretty colored leaves. M is for the moon, special moons, harvest moon they call it. And harvest moon is usually a great big moon. It looks like it's coming right down to see us. And N is for nature. Nature is what God gives us in our world. We have beautiful nature. Nature is animals and trees and flowers and plants that grow. And we need to take care of our earth and take care of our nature. And O is for orchards. Oh, orchards are where, like the peach orchard in summer, we have the apple orchard in fall. P is for pumpkins, and when they grow in a patch. It's called the pumpkin patch. They grow on the ground. They grow in a tree. And Q is for quilting, a quilt making quilts. During the winter, people where they have snow and they can't go out hardly at all, just like sort of our pandemic, people love to sew or they love to make quilts together and they sew together and make somebody a surprise. So that's what they're doing here. Looks like a teacher. R is for ravens. Those are the blackbirds that are coming and you see them and they can't wait to eat the grapes and they can't eat, wait to put their little beaks right into your apple and then they can't sell those apples so they have to make a scarecrow to scare those ravens away and that raven that scarecrow is out in the field and T is for oh I don't need to tell you what T is for do I is for trick or treat and Maybe we can't do that this year. I don't know. They're having a party in their house, and they're bobbing for apples. That means you put your hands behind your back, and you have to put your face into the water and take a great big bite, without using your hands, of an apple. She did it, and he did it. And then I guess you win a prize, or maybe just for fun. So at a trick-or-treat party, that may happen. U is for universe, our whole universe. And look at the birds. They're flying and getting ready for winter. And they fly in a V shape. V is for, the big letter V is for the way they fly. And W is for wagon. You need a wagon on the farm. We probably don't have so many wagons. But we put the hay, we put the food, we put all the things we need into the barn, and we use our horses and the wagon. And sometimes they have a hay ride, and you take a fun ride in the hay and sing songs and have a wonderful time out on the farm. Extra, X is for extra big fun, and that's what they're having. And Y is for yellow. There's so many beautiful things that are yellow and gold in the fall. And the last part that goes kind of with our first part, God's harvest, 
from apples and acorns, that's the squirrels, and other great things, may you find every blessing that God's autumn brings. So God, this is a story to bless and thank God for his goodness bringing us this beautiful time of year. And that's the end of our story. So this is a fiction story. And now I'm going to introduce a nonfiction book. And you can tell it's nonfiction because there's a photo on the top here, right on the cover, Pumpkins by Ken Robbins. And these are all pumpkins from the pumpkin patch that are going to go to the market. So you too can have a wonderful pumpkin. And look, they use the same color for the pumpkin as inside our book. Let's look over here. It's not really orange. It's a type of orange. It has a little brown in there. Look at that. It's the same color as our pumpkin. Oh, let's see what's... We have it. Look at that. It looks the same. This is an illustration. Somebody drew that. So we have real pictures and photos. And here's an illustration. Looks the same. Notice what the pumpkin looks like. The pumpkin has ridges. The pumpkin isn't just a circle with a stick on top. It has ridges and it's beautifully round. And it has a very sticky stem. And here is the cornfield and the corn stalk. This is a picture. Tells us the information about that. And sometimes the pumpkin patch is growing right at the bottom of the corn stalks. And over here is a forest where the leaves are falling off the trees. And it's like a blanket, a blanket of beautiful, beautiful colored leaves. And you can run and jump in the leaves. And some people have to rake the leaves. It's a big job. And here's an illustration to show that the pumpkins are on the way to the market for you. And over here are the real pumpkins. And notice the sky. What are the birds doing in the sky? They're getting ready for winter. They're leaving and going to their winter home. And now, look here what's in her hand. The seeds from the pumpkin. And notice the size. Now our apple, look at the seed in our apple. It's just tiny, tiny little seed. And notice the size of the apple. It's pretty small too. So we have that, but look at this. Watch. Look at the seeds from the pumpkin. All those seeds could be a new pumpkin. So we're going to, maybe you'd like to even see inside what it really looks like. And all of that has to be cleaned out. And I'll tell you what the girl is doing right next to me here. She's planting those seeds. She's going to have some more pumpkins next year. But you know what she had to do was clean all those pumpkin seeds, wash them off, clean them out, dry them out, and get them ready to be planted. And now she's going to watch the plants grow. And this is the way they start. Very simple, small green leaves. This is all we're learning good information. They grow and they grow into a pod. And it kind of looks like a pumpkin, but not quite. And then we see it popping out. Something yellow. Here goes that yellow color. And let's see what's growing. And they're in the patch. You see down here, they're growing in the pumpkin patch. And here's what the flowers looks like. And it's a beautiful garden. Look at this. Do you see any pumpkins yet? I don't think so. But look at the leaves. They have grown very, very large. Something is happening, though. We can't see it, but it's happening. And what's happening is 
the pumpkin is actually growing. It's growing right out of this stem area. We've cut this one off because we cut it out of the pumpkin patch. But there it is. It's growing. It's growing. And then do you notice the color? It's starting to change. And look, a lot of the flowers have died. And things look like they're starting to die. So let's see what happens. Let's see. Oh, the pumpkins are really growing, but the leaves are getting smaller and the leaves are dying and they're leaving us a beautiful pumpkin patch full of pumpkins. And that's where the farmer takes the pumpkins from there and brings them to the market for us to have during fall. And what's unique about pumpkins you can have so many different varieties of pumpkins. And you can choose any pumpkin you like, just like all of us. We're all different. And look at this tiny little one. And you can find those in the market too. So all of these are pumpkins and God's gifts for us during fall. Now, something very exciting happens here. On the farm, if you lived on a farm, you might want to be in a contest for the largest pumpkin. And there's some stories about the largest pumpkin. And you win a prize. You win a great prize. And some of them are huge, huge, gigantic pumpkins. Now these are growing. Look how big some of these are. But they even get bigger than that. And then we cut the pumpkin. We're getting ready to cut the pumpkin, but what are we doing first? We're going to make and design our jack-o'-lantern. And we draw our face, and then we cut. And there's a special knife that you can use to cut pumpkins. And notice the stem. See, it was growing on a vine. So it looks like a little circle up there. And look over here. There, just like we have here, the same, same thing right inside. The seeds and the insides, and we clean it up and get it ready, and then we can use the pumpkin for the jack-o'-lantern. And that's what they did. And that's the story. And then... We use them on Halloween night. They can be scary. They can be funny. They can be wonderfully happy. And then some are left. And what happens with the ones that are left? They get scooped up and ground up and dried. And they go for the food for the animals for winter. And they go in the barn. And all of this is good food. It doesn't look good to us but it looks good for the animals and we grow, it has to be dried and look at all those seeds. So they're eating good food when they have pumpkins for dinner. They don't know it, but we do. And the jack-o'-lanterns have a lot of fun on Halloween night.